Last week, I uploaded a video on my Instagram talking about depression and how I went through it. And well, how I'm better now. But um, so I followed it with a Q&A on my Instagram story. So that was basically essentially I gave people the opportunity to ask me questions and I was to answer them but due to the amount of questions I got I wasn't able to answer all of them which is why I decided to do this video so I will be answering a lot of the questions here and I'll be sharing a bit more about my journey and what I did to come out of it and share with you guys a few techniques and one of the questions I was asked was what motivated me to share my story and this is answered simply by the fact that I want to be a voice to those suffering in silence and I'm really really glad I did this because uh, the process actually taught me that a lot of people don't know how to talk about it they're too afraid to talk about it and I'm just so glad that I motivated a few people to open up well they opened up to me but I hope we all open up to each other because it's only together we can you know grow out of this and move forward. So basically my uh, PA who's behind the camera, say hi. Hi. She's going to be asking me the questions one by one, the questions that you guys asked me. So let's start with question number one. Go. Question number one. What was the cause of your depression? Hmm. That's an interesting one. The cause of my depression. I was literally like living day by day not know what I wanted to do. It was so annoying when I was invited out and we were like in a group of people and people are like, oh, what are you doing at the moment? Oh, what what do you do every day? Like, you know, and I had no answer. And it was just so annoying. And everybody in my family were like entrepreneurs and I felt like I was living um, under everyone's shadow. Also, I just had no identity of myself and then that triggered like guilt. I'm not like an active member in society. The guilt now made me sad all the time. Um, yeah, that was mainly it. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I did not know what my passion was. It was just such a bad time in my life. Every day, I felt like the same thing just routine it was like a routine of nothing imagine that that was it basically yeah i just want to add that everyone's story is different and everybody goes through different things experience different experiences different things and how you react to something may not be how i react to something we're all different and that's what makes the world beautiful right so i'm sure because some of you may be thinking oh, see this one like the routine of doing nothing she doesn't know what suffering is you know so um i still want to i want to tackle depression as depression as a whole you know for all of us but um like i said our situations may be different but techniques of getting out of it maybe may help everybody so yeah so next question question number two how do you overcome depression? Okay. How I I overcame my depression was you literally need to hmm, be aware of your thoughts and your reactions to things. What makes you react joyfully? What gives you a rush of happiness? And you'll see, if you're aware of this, you'll see a pattern that there's one most of the time one factor that makes you feel this way and then that's how you can find your passion and once you find your passion you can incorporate it to your everyday life and also i did this by cutting out like all the negative people from my life people who i mean two wrongs don't make a right right so if you are really sad and you talk about your problems and someone else is just keeps complaining it's going to affect your energy and draw you down what else another way is exercising exercising helps so much it's crazy um, because through research I found out that 
emotions are actually actions so when you are depressed you actually your body actually does the action of um, slouching your breathing becomes more shallow and you are short of breath when you overthink when you have anxiety and so when you're exercising you're more um you are you can't be depressed and be doing jumping jacks or doing those kind of gestures it actually really helps with your breathing because breathing exercises really help too so imagine exercising you're essentially doing breathing exercises without knowing it and also, um, exercise helps to release endorphins, which is the, um, the happy chemicals and the happy cells in our brain. So that releases that and it makes you feel so much better. I did something where I changed my daily routine. So how I wake up and how I sleep at night. Like when I wake up, I make sure I watch inspirational videos on Instagram and when I sleep I um, make sure that the last thing I watch is not negative because that can follow you in your dream and then your subconscious mind works around that so though it's always good not to watch the news or any like horror movies or action movies right before you sleep what else um, pray be very prayerful that really helps when you feel all alone and you feel lonely and you have that connection with God you feel more security and you feel like someone is watching over you and it's such a beautiful feeling how do you move from this how do you stop from overthinking hmm. okay some techniques to stop overthinking is by uh, finding board games to play like Scrabble that would make your mind focus on one thing which is which will help distract the negative thought what else reading books really helps um i find that meditation is really good there are a lot of helpful videos on medicate meditation for anxiety and overthinking and how to clear your thoughts um painting is really good therapy for overthinking painting so you can get a canvas get some uh, watercolor based paint or I don't know what kind of paint I don't know much about paint but I just know that painting helps and what else uh, other things like sewing even though I don't sew but I'm just thinking of things that will literally make your mind focus on one thing you want to focus on one thing for long periods of time so something that will take you a while to finish that really helps because it delays the negative thoughts so that they will go away altogether how is life after overcoming anxiety and depression okay so i never thought i'd be in this place but i am so happy like life is beautiful i'm around positive people i everything in life has a meaning now uh, everything is beautiful to me um, my thoughts are clearer I wake up happy I sleep happy I'm always laughing I mean trust me if you guys are going through depression there is a light at the end of the tunnel just trust me and um, yeah I'm just in love with life basically what are some ways to help a family member with depression and anxiety? Well, always handle them with ease and care. Don't be too harsh towards them. Show them a lot of love and support. Encourage them. Even if maybe, okay, they may be like really passionate about one thing and even if you don't feel like it's going to work out or it doesn't look like promising in any way or they may not succeed in it still motivate them encourage them tell them how proud you are of them tell them you believe in them it's so important and i feel like in choosing your spouse when you get married make sure you choose somebody that is understanding someone that you know um will help you down this journey because 
that is so important really important but yeah in general just be there for them and tell them you believe in them and um, try and do with them what they like to do and not don't be too self-centered around them and you know just don't be too don't pay too much attention to your needs around them don't talk about yourself too much listen to them too you can talk about each other right but um yeah i feel like it's important to be there for them in every way you can who helped you overcome depression who helped me overcome depression oh my god a lot of support and love from my family if it wasn't for them i don't know where i'd be now but um no they really helped and uh god i became a lot more prayerful and kept in communication with constant communication with god and that helped a lot um what else i seek professional help so i went through therapy which was really helpful they help you know tackle what's the problem within not just the surface so it's really good they help you also to realize if you can't realize like if you can't find out it's really difficult to find out what your passion is within yourself by yourself so a, a, like a third party or an outside point of view is very crucial to help you achieve this realization um and also myself i had to look in the mirror and say that life is too short come on get out of this um i believe in you uh you know you can do it um yeah there's actually a instagram uh an instagram page that is for aimed at like motivational quotes and all of these things and it helps with marriage counseling and some things like that and then i felt find it so nice to like look through their things and it picks me up sometimes and it's smile underscore no smile again like smile underscore at 45 no smile underscore 45 or smile again i'll write it in the video for you but it's really good how long does depression last depression you can have short-term depression and long-term depression some people it varies really some people can be but no most of the time it's a long time and the thing about depression is a lot of the time it's not just like a one-time occurrence it can come and go come and go come and go in phases so someone that's had it before should be careful to know what works best for them to tackle it and then also know the signs of when it's resurfacing this is sometimes depression in women are caused by hormone how is that related to you um well i don't think mine was hormonal and the problem is a lot of women mistake you know mood swings during their period for depression and it's not the same but i think to balance out your hormones you can take evening primrose oil within the capsules like a thousand mg it helps a lot with like hormone imbalance did environment contribute to your depression um I want to tell you guys that environment is actually so important for you know staying away from you know being susceptible to depression um for my case in my case yes it did and uh, I had a change of environment a shift in my life a change of environment in recent and i had to get away from there and i just want to tell you that when you decide to get out of a toxic environment you become so much more lifted and happier and life is so much better for me so get away from toxic environments really please i need your help on how to lose weight in a healthy way 
and also maintain it as I have been struggling with it for many years. Okay, so since you've been struggling with this for many years, I would cut out red meat from your diet as it takes so long to digest. Um, don't eat a lot of carbs. Try and cut down the carbs. Eat a lot of fish, eggs, um, salad. Salad before meals because salad will kickstart your digestion and then it will make your food flow easier. Um, what else? Don't eat late at night. Eating late at night is detrimental to your weight. Um, also, drink a lot of water. Stay away from uh, fizzy drinks and a lot of sugary drinks. Uh, drinks with sugar. Um, okay, a lot of people don't know this, but high, like when you add a lot of salt in your food, it actually makes you swell up because of water retention. Puffy face, puffy stomach, puffy arms, and it's actually, a lot of it is water retention from all the salt. Um, if you're a, a tea lover, uh, replace your sugar with uh, honey. That helps. Um, what else? I used to actually, because I have problems with digestion sometimes, I used to, a trick which I used to do is um, every restaurant I go to I request for hot water and lemon but now I have this magic this is Tetox and it's a 14 week Tetox it reduces bloating it helps with weight loss and it increases digestion it's amazing the, it comes with the morning tea this is the evening cleanse and it's really amazing um, so yeah, it really helps with digestion. A lot of it is to just cleanse your digestive uh, path, track, digestion, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> yeah. The track of your digestion, yeah, it's, um, so things are flowing up and down easily. <laughs> they don't flow up, do they? <laughs> but yes, um, exercise, jogging, cardio will help you, um, even if it's like jogging 10 minutes a day, that will help a lot. And generally being more uh, active. So do you have any advice for people? Um, final words of advice, yes I do. Always be nice to people. You never know what's going on in people's lives. People walk past us and you just never know what they're going through. For example, um, a compliment goes a long way in people's daily um like how they assess and analyze their day they would have probably had a way better day if they had received a compliment from a stranger it goes a long way and uh for those struggling uh with depression anxiety all sorts of other things um I feel like being vocal about it really helps, like talking about it in itself is, sorry, talking about it is actually therapeutic in itself, um, it's like a whole weight lifted off your shoulder, trust me, like I felt so relieved after I spoke about this, it does wonders to your spirit and um, I just want to say thank you again for all the support and um, yeah, stay strong. When you're a fighter, you'll make it and um, you'll make it through. And yeah, I want to thank you guys again and thank you for watching my video.